Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here in the Cursed Estate once more. We are ready to jump into this wield mission here for the World Champ Medal. And we're actually bringing in the pit fighter himself, Dai, here. Uh, this is going to be our crew. I kind of wanted to go for a... Kind of balls to the wall, all out damage build here. So we've gone with Urku, the um, the pit champion. He is quite literally, a, he has been a pit fighter in his life. Then the actual pit fighter die. Um, then Amaris, our mitre, um, as the healer, going with the silver syringe for the bonus healing and the fortified garlic so that we can use things like blood of the martyr um, and the sign of Sigma a little bit easier without hopefully applying these uh, debuffs to ourselves to ourself. that should hopefully help out quite a lot and then uh, Havrad is running up the back and we've actually gone for a little bit of a difference in how we set up our trinkets I've been having discussions with a few people over on the discord thank you all for the help with this decision but essentially we've got Urku with his trinkets he's got his normal one his pauldrons but he's also got the nepathine which is going to reduce his stress, really nice. But it's also going to give a massive bonus to Virtue Chance and Debuff Resist, um, as well as having the Ancestral Tentacle Idol. This is hopefully going to mean that we can get Virtues a lot more often if the stress gets bad. Amorous does have the ability to, to really keep stress at a manageable level, but I should think this would help a lot. Um, in terms of uh, Dai as well, he's also got some really nice stress reduction in the fact that he's using the Lucky Braces for plus 10% crit chance and scouting chance and monster prize with the extra stress, unfortunately. But then we're going with this for another 5% uh, crit and plus 100 stress healed on crit. So he should hopefully be getting quite a lot, quite a lot of he uh, stress healing just off of his own uh, crits, which is really, really nice. Um, and then... Havrad is going with the extra damage, and like I said, Urku's got the Impaling Pauldron. So we're just going to quickly go and check out and make sure everyone is upgraded as they need to be. So let's just sort by level and come up here and uh, check these guys out. Make sure they, um, they have everything they need upgraded and ready to go. It does look like for the most part we're, um, we're about ready here. Uh, let's have a little look. Okay, Havrad is the only one that's not, um, and we're just going to level up these. And then I think in terms of costumes, in terms of armor, oh no, Havrad's got some upgrades to be done. So is Amaris. I don't know why some people are able to upgrade to level 5 before others, but hey her, that's what you get sometimes. So this should mean that everyone's pretty well ready for this. Um, and we're just hopefully looking to get these guys up to level 5. I'm not sure if Havrad and Urku will get there, but Dai and Amaris definitely will. Um, and I think this should be pretty good. We should hopefully see um, a pretty good venture here. And I'd, ima I'd imagine that these guys are going to be able to handle, the handle themselves quite quite easily quite easily they don't have t too much backline damage but hey her i think this is a pretty good setup nonetheless so at the minute we've got free provisions so we're just going to take literally everything because why not um and let's jump on straight in we're probably going to fight some blood suckers i'm not going to take any blood with me though but we could um we could end up coming across some bloodsuckers and taking on some Crimson Curse. We are going to have to go and do the Crimson Court mission relatively soon. We've actually already got a group ready and together for that, so I'm excited to go and do that. But let's jump on in. We don't have too many diary entries today. Um, I've written one, and that'll be coming up soon. We'll probably do that about halfway through. I believe this is a long mission as well, um, if I remember correctly. I think it's two firewood length mission, so we should see... Um, I should have checked my camping skills, actually. But we should see a pretty long dungeon here. These level 4 long ones do tend to be a little bit difficult. We've been having basically rapid ups and downs with our stress levels over the past few different uh, adventures we've been on. We've been seeing people like Harathan and his party getting majorly, majorly stressed out. Uh, so we'll hope that this group doesn't fall the same fate. Um, but you never know. And here you go. Quite literally, instantly, we have some Crimson Court guys. So, we could end up getting the Thirst here coming up on us. I'm really hoping we don't, because I didn't bring any blood. Um, we'll set this up. And we'll just hope that we can we can get on through here. This is probably going to be the enemies that we take on most of our stress from. I'm going to take you out. 
Didn't quite get him, but that is a pretty good hit nonetheless. Um, and let's set up our repost here. This is also going to buff our death blow resist, which really helps out quite a lot. A little bit of blight coming in here, but we should be okay. And we are going to go for Aminosity. This is going to increase our stress level, but if you remember, we've thrown this on to try and counteract some of that gained stress. Um, and yeah, we're going to be doing a lot and a lot of repose damage here with his Trinket. Actually, if we look here, 25% damage and 20% bleed chance. I think that's going to lead to some pretty good stuff. We also do a tiny bit of damage with the actual repose setup itself, which is not insignificant. The first, they really want Havarad. They really want him to, to gain the to gain the affliction, Obliterated. the curse itself, but he is, uh, he's sustaining himself nicely. He's sustaining himself nicely. We do have a party that has relatively high maximum HP, actually, across the board. Um, ow, there's some bleed coming in on us there. Gather the blood. But that repulsed. Very, very nice to see. Um, let's heal you up. And yes, we resisted that. So that's a good amount of healing there. And because we bought pretty much everything, we can bandage this off of ourselves. And now we can start dealing the really high damage. Unfortunately, a miss there. That's not terrible though. Uh, we'll go for you. Now both of you are gonna die. Oh, I thought the I thought the um bloodsucker had um bleed in it, but apparently not. But that repose does it just enough for us. Yeah, th this group I'm imagining will be rather strong. <laughs> Havarad's hits are insane. And these two are just just powerhouses, but we should be seeing some incredibly high damage hits here, and I, I love that. I, I just love playing with a group that hits insanely hard, and especially going into this area, I believe this is the wield, and um, going here, it's even more important that we hit hard, because there's a few enemies out here that can do some really, really nasty things when we get to level 4 dungeons. So it's really nice to be able to take them out pretty swiftly. Even enemies like this, if we can if we can take this out pretty quick. And by the way, something that I didn't even mention, we do have a bypass and de-stealth in Yamum. <laughs> uh, which is also going to be a massive debuff to the target, but it will buff their damage. So we can do that in some cases. Mainly, we want to be using that for the lowered accuracy. I'm thinking that would be quite good. Um, we've also got this as a self buff to dodge and prot. Um, and we do have nosebleed if we want to try and debuff that accuracy even more so. But for right now, because of his insane crit chance at 21 and then plus 8 on this, he does have extra damage versus stunned, but we're probably not going to be seeing too many stuns to be honest. Uh, we should be seeing big crits from this. At least every now and again. There's some huge heals coming in already. Absolutely huge heals. Always prep this first. Especially when we've got surprises. Makes it much easier to prep that. We can actually use this uh, Tremors to try and get some stuns. It is something that we can go for, but it is random target, so we have to be a bit, a bit more aware of that. It's not going to be effective at neutralizing a unit. More effective, so, at setting up Dai. The only thing is, it could hit a backliner that Dai can't even reach, so... That's probably not the, the best synergy in the world, but we can we can get something going with that. As you can see right now, stress management is is just great. Uh, we're really not having to worry about that whatsoever. So we can just keep going and keeping the repost up. Very good heals. Just got to remember that it does not heal himself. So we have to use other skills to heal himself up. Or hair cell, should I say, amorous. Uh, right. Mame, let's punch that thing. Of course, it does have a hard time bleeding this, but we'll get it. There you go. Those huge hits are just so nice to see. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of the body. Unfortunately, I didn't even get close to getting rid of the body. Rain of Blight coming in. But you got to remember that this this repose that she has is absurdly good. Um, with this syringe, we're going to be healing for a lot every time she gets hit. So AoE attacks are actually very beneficial to us. Um, yeah, let's heal ourselves up here. Marks us massively increases our prot as well. Very good for specific bosses. Um, obviously not as crucial here. There's that stress coming in. Get out of the way, body. Not often that we have to destroy bodies. In fact, a lot of the modded classes seem to have these comps where we can quite easily get rid of bodies. 71. Yes, indeed, decimated. And th there's these crit uh, stress heals coming in for everyone on the party. There's 29. Havarad, you 
are just a genuine beast. Just a genuine beast. I really should be taking the blood, to be honest, but I'm playing it risky. I'm playing it risky. Okay, grab all that. We're really not out to get money or even curious here. We're just out to level people up, so I don't mind leaving things here and there. Uh, we do have a room battle there, so we're going to have to go that way. But some curious there, anyways. Um, a little bit of blight on Dai here, uh, but he's going to get that off of him in no time at all, so no need to worry. Okay, we're going to be seeing some of these every now and again. 70, 65, 90... I'm actually surprised that Havarad doesn't have a better trap disarm than he does. I was expecting him to be pretty well versed, to be honest. Um, we can use this to gain a positive quirk. Is there anyone that's really low on positive quirks? In fact, actually, um, Urku is pretty low on positive quirks right now, so maybe we'll give one to him. Yeah, let's give one to him. This could help us within this region. Uh, we got Demon here, and that's really good. Not going to help us here, but it's really good. Something I didn't actually take a look at, to be honest, was um, this. Yeah. Tunnel vision, not great. We're getting much less damage and accuracy versus not marked, which is mm, pretty bad, to be honest. Um, I need to check everyone else as well. There's some of these that could really be hurting us quite a lot. Um, I'm not seeing any right now that's uh, absurdly big in terms of downsides. It's really mainly tunnel vision. Tunnel vision's a pretty bad one to get, um, and we might want to remove that one when we next get the opportunity, but let's not worry about that for now. We're out here. We're in it already. These guys can handle it, and we've actually got a treasurer already, and getting the surprise against a treasurer is insanely good. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for the hits here. I just want to try and kill him as quickly as possible. Of course, you're not. You'll do You'll do basically zero damage if we don't buff you up with that damage. Um, nice hit. Very nice hit. And a massive negative to speed, which should help us get the kill here, actually. Blanket fire coming in. Unfortunate, but you gotta, you got to think about the, the heal that we get from that. Okay. Point blank shot coming in. That's a big hit on Urku there. Pretty big hit on him. Don't worry about it, though, Urku. You'll be fine. There's that coming in again, but that just triggers this and starts healing everyone back up. You've actually dealt more healing than you've done damage there, I think. Unfortunately, he is still getting away. And we're not getting the turns we need. I think he's going to manage to get away, to be honest. Let's heal ourselves up here. Make sure we uh, keep our healer on top of things. Havarad, if you could, if you could have a turn, please. That would really help us out quite a lot. I would love a turn, Havarad. So I can shoot the Vamoose guy. There's one of them big crits. Awesome. I'm going to do Aminosity here. I was hoping that would uh, hurt him a little more, but obviously it didn't. Let's see if we can get this. That's probably him, Vamooshed. He's probably gone. Unfortunate. But that is what we have to deal with sometimes. He's not that hard. Uh, sorry, it's not that easy to, to capture, to be honest. Later, dude. He managed to get away. Yeah, he can be quite a tricky guy, really. Um, quite a tricky guy indeed to deal with. There's another one of those big crits coming in. Huge punches. And we'll do this, heal you up. And of course, the fortified garlic helps us resist. And there you go. The greater the glory. This is just doing great stuff for us right now. Just go for that stun. We didn't even get the stun, unfortunately. Really hoping we get it there, but... Unfortunately, reposts really aren't doing us too good either. But don't worry, because Havarad hits all, and he... He is a destructive force to, that should not be reckoned with, honestly. He... He has some absurd killing power. The... The ferocity at which he fires that cannon is unknown by most men. Unknown. And... Un unchallenged. I don't think anyone in the hamlet will will dare will dare to stand against a cannonball from this man. Ow. Don't worry, we dodged it. We dodged it. Do that. Move these two around a bit. Um, j just because Urku has an attack here, this one, Gore, if we ever want to switch over to Gore, I'd like the ability to use that. We're not using it right now, but if we ever want to switch to it, I'd like him to have the ability to. Um, okay, so these 
these are some of the enemies that I was talking about. This enemy, I didn't actually know about this enemy for a long time, but I've seen some stuff that this guy can do. And let me tell you, you really, really, really do not want to mess with this guy. So what we're going to do is, he doesn't really deal damage as such, so we're going to pull him to the front so everyone else can deal with him. I think that's going to be a perfectly acceptable way to kill this guy. Also, Blighted Giant, still also pretty deadly. Uh, the Blighted Giant can... I've seen him crit for 70 damage on some on some people before. I, I'm guaranteeing that's a champion level one, so he won't hit for quite that much. But if he crits, he's still going to be hitting for quite a lot. Wow, we're getting some lucky dodges right now. This guy's almost down. I love the fact that his uh, punch is lower speed. It's so nice. These two are so perfectly matched. Ooh, lucky dodge, giant. Lucky dodge. Um, yeah, let's just keep our repair stuff. Keep it going. Like I said, it buffs our death blow resist as well, which is really nice. Here's the smackdown. 21 damage. It's That's hard, but Urku has seen... He's seen bigger hits than that. He has survived more than that. That is not that much to our boy Urku here. Unfortunately, we did take both. There. Wow. Now, was you prepared for that, Giant? Was you prepared for that? I bet you weren't. I bet you weren't. Okay. So this group is having a bit of a hard time against Prop. Another Smackdown, but Urku... He's, he, he's seen this before. He's, he's seen you do that before, dude. Find some better moves. Find some better moves. He's, he stands for none of this. Oh. Although, the giant himself... A very similar story, actually. He, he, knows, he knows what Havarad's doing there in the back. Pre preparing his cannon. Readying that cannonball for his face. And he is not accepting of it in the slightest he isn't taking any single bit of that cannonball he's jumping right out the way and Havarad actually needs to re uh, prepare again to be honest so I maybe should have gone with your mum but I really don't want to buff this guy's damage to be honest really you only want to pull people forward if they're characters that don't really deal damage so if we see here um we're gonna end up not really doing much damage if we look. We'll end up doing between 7 and 17 isn't insignificant. But I'd rather mark this guy. Because this is going to improve Urku's damage. Here's the smackdown. Fortunately, Urku couldn't quite get out of the way of that one. But he did stand a bit taller than the previous. It didn't take quite as much damage. But yeah, we're going to see here that he's going to get that extra damage and accuracy. And, on top of that, this guy gets debuffed, although he, he could have been debuffed with minus 20 speed. He didn't actually. Okay. One more hit. I think, Urku, you could finish this off, maybe. Or, actually, die. There you go. There you go, guys. I realize I am leaving some uh, really stupid gems and stuff here at the minute. I really shouldn't be. Uh, we can get a stress heal here, I guess. We really don't need it, but... Why the hell not, I guess? This is a, a very tightly knit group in terms of dealing with their own stress. I really like this idea of... Um, let's give you this as well. I really like the idea of using this little setup with the bonus um, stress healing from crits. It's a very interesting little setup. We got Contracted Killer there. Um... Which replaced Hard Takedown, unfortunately. I'm not exactly sure what Hard Takedown was doing for us. But that's Extra Damage versus Marked, which synergizes even further into Tunnel Vision. So maybe we want to set up that with Havrad a little more. Just to make sure that Urku can really hit for those in extremely hard hits when he needs to. Especially in combat situations like this. Uh, where we want those one-hit kills. Let's have a look. He's going to get it anyways. No, he's not. Urku. You failed me, boy. We took the blight, but we resisted the bleed. So let's just mark this dog. And that prepares us, just in case. I don't think we'll need it. I think uh, Dai will do a fine job of taking this dog out, honestly. Or... Havrak will fire a cannonball through the very soul of that poor dog. <laughs> Havrak is... He's kind of a monster. <laughs> Uh, a beautiful monster, albeit, but my god. 
He really holds no bars for anything. He will shoot a hole in a dog if he has to. He will shoot a hole in a dog if he has to. Okay, animosity here coming out, I think. We, we want to get that air uh, repurst set up. There you go. Get that set up and ready. With these sort of enemies, I reckon they're going to end up focusing down Urku. So, I'd rather get that sorted. Amorous is going to need a self-heal in a moment. Rabid Rush could, could be bad for us. We could get diseases, but luckily that dodge helped us out a lot. The Wing Slam coming in. Nice dodge, but again, the repost accuracy is... It's leaving something to be desired. You, you just keep missing, dude. You just keep missing. Amorous again, but nice dodge. Go for that bird. Yep, you're down. <laughs> you are just destroyed. No Parasite left either. Even better. Another crit coming in. No stress heal necessary. Right, let's get this going. Heal ourselves up. Good amount there. I like to see that. I like to see that a lot. Okay, there you go. There's that repurse and bleed that we like to see. And I think we just go for the dog. Punch him and then die. You can finish off this little battery. This fungal, disgusting thing. We have quite a lot of blight on us here. We definitely want to heal that off of us if, if we get the opportunity. Um... I don't think we need to do anything here, though, do we? No. Havrad always getting those crit heals. This is why um, Amaris is just insanely good at keeping everyone de-stressed. A lot of her attacks do some really good AoE de-stressing. I'll take that. Um, what we got here? More stress relief. I don't I, I guess you take it again. We don't really need it. We're definitely going to do that as well. That's a lot of damage coming in otherwise. Okay. A few things here. A map. We are getting a lot of scouting here. A lot of scouting. Um, we do have nine shovels, so I think we're well within our reason to uh, dig up some corpses. And here's some more bloodsuckers. I was expecting a good few this fight. Long adventures tend to have quite a few when we're this late in. Um, unfortunately, we can't hit this guy, who I'd very much like to hit. So let's just go and punch one of these dudes. Animosity here definitely going to be coming out. Um, let's light the fuse here, get ready. Lowers that accuracy somewhat. I'm expecting we'll take at least one, one person with curse coming up soon. I'm expecting it. We'll see. The thirst coming in. Urku, are you okay? We took our... Oh, he resisted it. He resisted the Crimson Curse. Very nice. I always forget that they can still resist it, even if they try. This isn't too hard of a group. I think only this guy can actually give us the curse. These dudes don't really seem to. Even with Gather the Blood, I've never seen them hit it. Although, saying that now, it'll probably mean that they will. So, let's see. It's this guy... He's the main, main problem, the little dude. Especially when he moves himself to the back like that. But you put yourself right in Havrad's sights when you do that, so... I think Havrad is quite pleasantly surprised to see you move to the back line like that. He, he is he is raring and ready to go. And there you go, just a 94 crit. Just a 94 crit, people. That's all from Havrad. That's all he has to say. Just a quick little 94 crit. Nothing more, nothing less. And there's another crit. Beautiful to see. Well done, Dai. Him and his brother. You can tell the similarities between them. Their fighting skills unmatched. Even if they don't know one another are brothers. Their blood is from the same cloth. Ooh, unfortunate Haberat. Don't worry about it. Got you. And yeah, let's just get this going again. Good, good, good. Nice dodge, Haverad. With that, I don't know how you're dodging with that cannon in your hand, to be honest, but. 52. I'm happy nonetheless. Um, this momentum. Push on that's insanely good. Do we have a seer? I don't even know if we have a seer. Do we have a seer? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to take that for the Loudenum. 
I know I'm leaving rubies and things. It's, it's not a good look. It's not a good idea. But I'm okay with it. Okay, so here we do the same play with Dai. We pull this guy to the front, I think. I think that's the most important thing. Get you taken care of as soon as possible. The Hex coming out. We've marked ourselves. All three of us are marked. Wow, that's, that's a lot of marks to start. I think Havrad's main power comes in that he can hit any slot with his cannon. He don't, he don't give a damn where they are. He can hit any of you. Slimes coming in. They aren't too problematic. They aren't too bad. Um, so let's grab you and pull you over. Your mum is a pig. And that puts you in perfect hitting range for Urku, who unfortunately missed. Of course. Of course. Here comes some of that stress we've been sort of looking, looking at, thinking we're going to get. Here's where it starts to build up. Punch this thing a bunch of times. Really want to be killing this as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, we'll keep going with the heals, I think. Okay. I think here, we actually play, play this right. We get rid of this minus accuracy just in case. And we go for the big hit. Still got the dodge. Well, this guy's almost down. Don't worry about it. This guy's almost down. We're going to take on some stress this fight. I'm I'm prepared. I'm well prepared for that. There we go. Take, take down that one. I opted out of killing this guy because he was on such low health that we can kill him with uh, Urku or die pretty easily. Nice. Look at that. Heals all around. No. This guy has such high dodge. There we go. Finish him off with a crit, though. Nice one, Dai. We've not really had to use any of his other skills yet. The, um, his main attack is really good. There's another 94 crit. Obscene. Obscene amounts of damage. Wow, that's very good. I, I like the look of that a lot. The spirit, Spiritful Face Mask. Extra Blight and Debuff Chance with extra uh, dodge. Less damage. I will take that. Um, we'll take it for a, a Viscount Invitation because I believe we already have a few of those. I think. It's kind of scary to throw that away just in case, but I'm pretty sure we already have a few of those. I really hope we do at least. I really hope we do. <laughs> Otherwise, that was certainly a big mistake. Let's push forward until the tasks end. And for the third time, for the third time, no, we won't go with him again. Um, I think Havarad, you'd benefit from this, right? Um, although we wouldn't want to lose, we wouldn't want to lose any of these. Do you know, hot to trot is unfortunate on Havarad. That would... That would be that would work very well if it was the second turn. Unfortunately, the first turn doesn't quite cut it for us. Um, let's go, Dai. You can you can take this. I think. Garmon increases restoration amount received from cook skills. That's decent. I like that. Okay, more hunger coming in. We'll probably camp after this room here. We got another battle coming in. <sighs> Some bloodsuckers. <laughs> they are quite heavily encroaching on us now. Um, should we take a risk and try and go for a kill right off the bat here? I am very glad I took that risk. Hot to trot. Serving to be very important there. Impressive. There's another kill. Can we get a kill? On a Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Three turns, three kills. Obviously, Amorous isn't going to get one, but that is still absurdly good. Time to perform beyond one's and you went for a maddening wine. You can't move back any further, little creature. Although, you do get two turns in a row. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you. Thank you. Precision My god. Havrad, how are you critting so much? How are you critting so much? My dude. But a victory. This guy is just insane. <laughs> 
the damage he can deal. No snow bounds. Thank you, Havrad, for all of your effort today. I think you can have a nap after killing this. Havrad will kill the slime blob. We, we, we know it to be true. We know it to be true. Prep this, and everyone's looking really, really good right now. Everyone's looking really, really good. Okay, nice. Big slime coming in. Oof. That's going to debuff us for that, that accuracy down. Probably going to remove that yet again. Didn't quite work out for us last time, but that's only because the enemy had really high dodge. Mark Prayer coming in. That's two crits in a row. Urku seems to take a lot more crits than anyone else. And there's that stress building up. Wow. You really want to mark him, don't you? You really want to mark him. My god. He doesn't need marking this many times. Havrad takes as many crits as he, de as he deals out. He receives just as many. Okay, nice. That's actually perfect for us. Slime Smackdown. It's okay. We did get a stun there. Nice resist, Turku. There we go. A nice finish. I told you Havrad would get him. We already pushed him to the back, so we don't have to destroy any of the bodies. Although, we might still have to, depending on if they keep doing that. Another crit coming in there. Quickens. Not quite enough damage, and we did knock him back quite far. I do forget that Urku has that built into his main attack. Some Blight coming in here. Let's try and take out this body real quick. Nice. There's one more round of his insane damage up. Lots of Blight coming out here. Everyone's taking some. But the heals are out in full force. Do not worry. Do not fret. The heals are out in full force. I'm not going to worry about a little bit of blight. I'm not going to worry at all. Urku, do you want to finish this? Or Havrad, do you? I think Havrad wants to finish it, doesn't he? With his last turn of insane damage. Ooh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. That's a bad miss. Well, these guys, these brutes up front, they're fine. They're ready. They're ready. They can finish this. And there you go. There it is. Exactly what we needed. Oh, we got a Jude Tapestry. Very nice. Um, yeah, we definitely want to take that. Um, I'm going to get rid of... I don't know what to get rid of, actually. We've been kind of using everything. Let's get rid of bandages. I know it's kind of a bad idea normally, but I'm going to get rid of it anyways. Nothing of value inside. And let's uh, camp it up. Okay. Let's have a little look, see what we got here. Um, nah. Doesn't actually look... Okay, here. Self prevent nighttime ambush. Minus 20 stress. Slightly less damage, but honestly, we could just do this and then this. Now it's only a minus 5%. Like, ain't nothing to it, really. Uh, extra damage, a little bit of extra stress. Extra accuracy and crit. I think we go with the extra accuracy and crit here. And then here we go for... That's pretty good. He can take on a bunch of stress and remove everyone else's, but we don't really need that right now. Let's go with this. Oh, this is only one companion, though. Um, maybe instead we'll just do that. Takes on a bunch of stress, but he will prevail. And we'll get into our diary entry here as well. I forgot about that. This is for Canis, our werewolf. This is one written by me. Um, she said... I've been here for some time now, and, sh be, uh, and I've shown a few of the others my true colours, but recent events and the ever-growing horrors of this land finally unleashed the beast within. I was stressed out of my mind and could feel my heart racing. The beast could not be contained any more. I don't really remember much else after that, but Trell and the other folks I was out with last week were thankful of my affliction. So she's finally showing her true self as the werewolf she is, and actually being respected for it. I think many people in the Hamlet have come to have come to respect and value those with these afflictions. 
even if they may be ungodly to some. I feel like people are people are learning to tolerate. We're at week 100 now. Uh, we've we've been here a while, and yeah, there's more horrors out in the world than than would ever be in the Hamlet. So they know that. Well, below the Hamlet, should I say? Um, they know that, and they are willing to accept people of all shapes and sizes. I think when you're fighting these horrors, you can't be too picky about who you who you decide to work with. And it looks like Trell and the other guys seem to think the same. Right, we've got some um, some cultists here, but these guys really shouldn't be too hard. The Eldritch Pull could be a problem here, but a nice miss. Ren for the old gods coming out. Okay, punch you. Hoping for a crit there with that bonus crit chance, but we're not seeing it. There's a finish. Nice one, Oku. And there you go. Bring in that heal for everyone. And that massive stress reduction. You're gone with that 55 damage. And you're gone as well. Very nicely done, people. Very nicely done. These guys, they, they know how to handle themselves. They really do. They can they can take on pretty much anyone they want. Pretty much anyone they want. Right, last few battles most likely here. This has been a, a pretty good exploration thus far. I took out the Virtue Trinkets just in case. We haven't really needed them, but at least you got to remember thing, things like this one here. Um, we are getting the bonus stress reduction and debuff resist with it. Uh, so it is very worthwhile bringing with us. And it's going to be something I probably bring on every mission from now on. Because I can try to, to trinket swap to the people that have the highest stress before we go into certain battles. That's the lowest, have -rad, lowest damage have -rad's ever done. I think he's surprised. He doesn't quite understand what's happened to him. few more of these guys coming in here. Of course. That's what happens. Heal ourselves up again. Amorous is really doing a fantastic job of keeping this group afloat. I'm sure they'll all be very, very grateful. Right. Push forward. Okay. We have two battles remaining. Unfortunately, we did not get a secret room. This setup again, we seem to see this one pretty commonly. The Hex is coming. Only took it on one, that's fine. Minus 65 dodge, wow. The vulnerability coming in. Those two together can lead to some pretty big debuffs. It's okay though. Rabies possibly coming in. Okay, nope, we're good. Pull you forward. I think this is definitely the best move. And let's just go for Aminosity first. That, that sets up our repose no matter what. These dogs are going to be biting our ankles each round anyways. I'd rather set this up while, while we can. It's going to work out for us. A breath coming out. Damn, the, the repost accuracy is just shocking, unfortunately. We're just not hitting with that. Really want to try and stress Urku out, but they're not doing a very good job of it, to be honest. Lowering the light levels some. He's managed to make his way back, but an 87, an 87 crit. Really, really not that great, is it? We do get that extra, extra accuracy verse marked as well. We got to remember that. It's insane. It's just absurdly good. Right, take out these dogs. There's a crit on one of them. These little pups. We don't like them. We don't like them. <sighs> Unfortunately, Urku's accuracy is is a bit shocking. I really should have accounted for that. Maybe gone with the focus ring or something similar. But it's okay. It's okay. Hey, resist the black blight and bleed there. Awesome. But Dai always always comes up and helps. He's always there for Urku when he misses. I think these two will get along quite well, even even if Urku does have somewhat of a more traumatic past. He was he was not really a pit fighter by choice. 
Uh, how many how many rubies have I left by accident because I've taken the sapphires instead? How many? Probably quite a lot, right? Probably quite a lot. But like I said, we're not we're not in this for the money. So do not fret. Do not worry. I don't mind missing out on some money here. Okay, our first stag, fungal deer. Shouldn't be too hard. We have a pretty good group to counter this guy. Already done a ton of damage to it. Set up there. I don't think we need animosity here. I think we can just go for the kill. What sort of damage we're we doing here? Okay damage, but I'd, I'd rather hit for a bit more than that. So let's go for the kaboom. Look at that. This thing is, is weak. He has buffed this guy up. The debuff chance is definitely annoying. We can get past it though. And Rain of Blight coming in on us again. But you keep hitting the guy that heals everyone. You keep doing it. You just don't know when to stop. Extra targeting coming in. Ooh, Oku felt that. He felt that down to his very core. But he he is a fighter. He ain't gonna quit. Hoping for a crit there, unfortunately. I was just going for the kill. But that's okay. Oku, okay. And here we go. Boom. <laughs> oh my god. With Havarad, it's a point and click adventure game. You barely have to even try. This man's a miracle maker. Oh, Urku, please. Hit things, please. It's absurd how little you can hit things. Let's get that going. Got debuffs on everyone here, really. And status effects, but it's nothing major. Come on, Urku. Come on, Urku. Nice hit. Bring you forward a bit. It didn't even bring him forward, and I buffed his damage. Great. But don't worry. Havrad sees it happen. And he says, he says no. He says no, no, no. He doesn't want any of that. Okay. Taking on a little bit extra there. Right, let's uh, quickly camp up again here. Because why not? Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Okay. Um, we'll go with that, and that, and that, and that. There you go. That's that's definitely the best setup for camping. We get out of it safely with some pretty significant buffs on everyone. And bandages, we don't have any of those anymore. That's fine. Dig our way through this, and we should be good here. This is our last fight. Let's see who we've got. Okay, just some cultists. Wasn't expecting that, but these guys will be taken down in no time at all. We might end up incurring a little more stress than we'd expect here, but as long as it's evenly divided among the troop, I think everyone, everyone should be okay. Ow. Extra stress coming in now. Havrad, you, 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 sit, you sit back there. You just, you just prepare yourself. You just prepare that cannon. Because they ain't going to know what hit him soon. They ain't going to know what hit him. And they already ain't seeing what hit him because we're one-shotting him. Mag out. Right, let's get this set up. Heal everyone up a little bit as well. Lower that stress level. <sighs> Oku, please, just hit things. You're stressing me out. This is the most stress I've ever had, and it's the last battle. And there's another one. Wow. You are just... You are just killing it. And there's another one from Haverad. Wow. The pit fighters are doing well. Uh, right. Allies. Yeah, let's do this. Heal everyone up. De-stress. Why not? Havrad never even heard of stress. What's that? Quickly the tide turns. Actually, we got quite a lot here. Don't worry about it, though. Don't worry about it. 
We're fine. Return to Hamlet. Everyone feeling pretty good, honestly. That that went that went pretty swimmingly. We got ourselves this here, the World Champ Medal. A sweet 20 grand, and every single person here up to level um, 5. Very nice. Ooh, we definitely want to get rid of Corpse Curse. Let's do that now, shall we, before we forget. Once our estate was the envy of right. this land. Let's uh, quickly remove those trinkets. And yeah, let's uh, get rid of that Corpse Curse before it becomes more of an issue, shall we? Also, Urku... I'm going to get rid of your tunnel vision. I don't like you having that. Let's quickly check our stagecoach. We have a champion air. Um, I do believe we already have a champion air. Um, we've got some other people that we need to bring on. Like this air filler math here. Some new classes. But we're, we're going we're gonna to bring on some higher levels rather than lower levels. I do realize that it's a... Uh, it is, it is a bit slow doing it this way and waiting for the higher levels to approach us. But at the same time, I feel like if I brought in all the lower levels, we'd spend even longer leveling them up. So this is kind of the preferred method for me, at least. Let's check what we've got in terms of trinkets. Um, mm, nothing particularly great there. Let's have a little look, see what we've got here. Guard duration's nice. Extra damage plus bleed chance is good. Afflicted. High women. Crusader. Shield breaker. Abomination. On melee hit self. Stress minus five. Very interesting. Got some very interesting stuff here. Um, pretty good. The training whistle. Hmm. Grave Robber. Extra stress, extra damage. On melee hit buff range. Okay, so that's a, a wham bam sort of. The melee then ranged, melee then ranged, melee then ranged. That would that would lead to some interesting gameplay. I, I'll definitely keep that in mind. Um Otherwise, nothing particularly amazing there. I don't think. Uh, nothing particularly amazing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is definitely a good one. We got some nice levels going on. And I think very shortly, we will be embarking and heading out over to our Viscount. We're going to need to do it pretty soon. Um, so that's definitely something that's on the roster. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.